Hello everybody, Pico is cooking some amazing curry meat. This is a meat and he's making it dry, he's already seasoned it with some hard man pork some thyme and also some celery, right Pico? Yeah. And he burned out, he burned all the water out from the meat and he drained it from the oil and the meat and now he's cooking. Let's see. Do you put any oil on this? Pico, no oil. no oil. Pico is teaching Tommy how to cook his make, way. I want to make this. Right, Tommy? Yes, I'm going to. I'm watching you teach me his, his recipe, and apparently it's like the most popular meat recipe with this, the way he cooks it dry. So I'm learning this, so I'm going to make this when we go home. So tell me, Pico, you're taking out now? Yeah, I start to take out the meat now. Good, good. I'm just going to hurry. Pico is very, very good cook. It's an excellent cook. My mom also put some of this seasoning and so here together. So in reality, this meal is between Pico and Mommy. <laughs> oh, he's kissing the tea. <laughs> Come on, give a kiss. <laughs> okay, so tell me about what you have there now. You have, have the some masala. Water now in the masala. Mm -hmm. What else is in there? Curry powder, masala, jeera, turmeric, store up. Why do you add water to it? The water. You do it now to blend it together? Uh, don't yes, you? you have to get the water. It's not in the masala or bun. Oh, okay. Say a little more. Chunk it out. That looks good, Pico. Pico is teaching Tommy and I both how to make this um, food this way. Everybody in the background, say hello. Everybody, um, all doing your own thing. <laughs> so now I see he put all his seasoning, garlic, and his onions. Mm -hmm. Are you learning, Pico? I mean, I'm learning, Tommy. I am, I am. Yeah. I like how pasty it is. Mm -hmm. That's all is the, um, the sauces. And the aroma. Yeah, Cookie is, um, Pico is a genius. He is, he is. He's really a, an excellent cook. He's an all rounder man. He's a jack of all trades. He's a jack of all trades. And, um, it's, it's not, yeah, it's perfect. The curry, the yeah, masala, so everything is perfect that he's cooking with. It's a lot of meat. Check out all this meat here. Let them smell it. Wow. Ooh. And, I, mommy, I remember to tell people it's between you and Pico. Yeah, she's a prep person. <laughs> I prepare the masala pickle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Cause good this is looking. That looks good there, Pico. Hey, Tommy. See Pico, say Tommy. Say hello. Good year. Tommy. 
All right, Sam. I'm here sitting down learning. I'm always in school. I pray, what's that pick up, sir? Uh -huh. Nice, nice. This is a man here, okay? Mahai command. So you, you're Mahaika, right? Yeah, we got Ooh, nice, nice. Here you go, And Pico seasoned the meat with thyme, Mardman pork, Bradley thyme, fine leaf thyme, and also some celery. Nice garden seasoning, fresh from the market. Good Pico. And you can do do it like this with any of your any meat you desire. Any meat. Any meat you can do the same way. Chicken, pork, beef, fish. I bet we go with the duck. And you even can do it with your vegetables also. Is a bit, you know, okay, duck mostly. Yeah. What's that, Pico? Duck. Hey. Duck is good this way. Or turkey mostly. Yeah. And turkey. Never turkey. You never eat turkey. Oh wow, would you eat it if I if you get it? Yeah man, talking's good. I love talking meat. Hi Pamela. Hi Priya. Ralph. Frida. Everybody's watching. Rishi. Rishi Berry's in the house. We just came back from Canal Number One. We had a fun time. Uh, Pico took us to the conservancy there. And um, it was amazing. Miranda, Monica's daughter, went with us. We had fun. We caught some, some avocado, which they call pears here. We get some guava, some cherries, some salara, some coconuts. We had a good time, right, Pico? Of course, yeah. yes. Who was the driver? Tommy was the driver. <laughs> <laughs> I got my, I, I, when we were at the airport, I got my temporary license. So I've been driving a little bit to get used to driving over here. That looks yummy. So Pico, all you do now is just let it cook. Yeah, it's not cooked. And they can we use will it. cook it until it catch, you know. When you say catch, it means like bonjay or bonjay, right? Bonjay properly, then you add water. So they're asking, so you can do this with any kind of meat like you were saying before? Any meat. Any meat. Poultry. Uh, you can do it with vegetables also, how the way we did it, you know? Right. You can do curry potato this way also. Oh, that would be so yummy. Yes. Yes. Edos. Yeah. yeah, all the seasoning he's saying is going so into the meat. You know. Okay. You can't throw out the bram. So it's like... It's, it's going to absorb into the meat. Okay. So fire. Low fire. Yeah. Okay, so just a constant heat. Yeah, just just little um, fire and take its time and cook. There was they already made up their blend of spices. There, like people are telling you different things you need, but they had already put all their salt and seasonings together first. Yeah, you put everything in. It's all part of the mixture. Hey guys, uh, I'm having a great time here. I'm glad I'm here. I got a chance to spend some time with uh, Monica's son, Silas, and Miranda because I haven't seen them in a long time. And John has never met them, nor Tommy. So it was fun to see the kids. And Steve, I haven't seen Steve for a long time also. Yeah, we, Monica came to Florida like three times and she never bring the kids and her husband. So I'm glad I get to see them. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's learning it from you, Pico, they say. They're saying you're the number one cook. It's looking good. Go to Moses. Moses is... Go to Moses. Go say hello to Moses. Moses working hard? Moses worked. He worked all day, both him and Dolly. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dolly yeah. is a hard worker. Dolly is a hard worker. Very hard worker. Everybody knows Moses. Moses. 
Hello, everybody. Uh, no, yeah, we're kind of tired right now, you know. We got a rough day. We now get back here. Nice, nice, nice. Hi, Dolly. Enjoy, oh, the, enjoy the food. Let me show you what Moses is doing. Oh, what's he using? What's that? Hi. Say hi. That's Rachel and Oh, Frank, sorry. What do you call it, Mom? The crab ran away. Uh, uh, Moses just brought some a bag, big old box of live crab. So we're just cooking and eating. And then we uh, the conservatory. I'd never been over there. It's so beautiful. The area was so nice. So Pico says we will go over there and barbecue one day on the water. Go for a swim. Look at how amazing this is. You see that spices in there? Oh my gosh, it smells so crazy good. Looks good, right? Yeah, it's the smell is even the the look. Nice. It looks great, but the smell is so good. Look how good this is looking. The crab ran away. Crab ran away. We're about to go cook some crab also. Because my sister, my sister Zorin, Pico's wife. Oh, we can say that now. Oh, Pico's wife. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be um, cooking some crab, some buck crab, land crab. Looking good there, Pico. A lot of Pico's customers are jealous of Zorin. Since he got married, they kept asking Pico, you promised you would marry me, you would marry me. <laughs> they all wanted Pico, but they're happy for him, but they say, now you're married, now I can't, you can't have me. Let's open the crab, let's see. Do you have in here? Does it grab? I want to show, I want to show. Open it. Oh, they're looking good. Ma Guys, look, look. The result. How nice these are. My sister already take out the back, the front part of it, so it's not alive. It was alive, but check out these crab, guys. Isn't it so nice? And uh, Zorin will be cooking this. So, so nice, right? Mm -hmm. So awesome, Tommy. Look it up. These are so cool. Right? These are so different than our blue crabs. Yeah, yeah. These are la the land crab. They actually oh, live the on crab. the land. Oh, buck crab. They also oh, call it buck crab. crab. Oh, that's the ones that covered in mud that one day you were. No. Yes, oh, my yes. Gosh. Okay, so these are them clean. Now I know. <laughs> yeah, it's so, they so, they so colorful. Them. They had to watch oh, them yet. The land crab, buck crab. Buck crab. Buck crab. You know what we get by No. No, that's it. Yeah. And by Uncle Lincoln, too. That's where I go catch. Yeah. And then in Florida, we catch them after the rain is when we go out and find them because they come out of their holes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. My sister going to clean that up now and then she'll be cooking it. And I'll be videoing it also. Rico, how are you cooking that? Did you come learn here, Moz? Var, sorry. Ah, sweet. Monica. Monica. Rico, are you cooking that dry? Yeah. I'm going to do this at home. Make sure when you throw in the meat in the canary, mm. Tell me. wash the meat with sugar when you cut up. Oh, you wash it with sugar? Right. Why? It takes out the rankness. Ah, uh, I've never No really smelling. Done. No matter how rank a meat is, it takes so much sugar and throw it and stir it up. When you do your... You can pick up your, your just like um, that. Meat. With no rankness, no smelling, you know. Any meat, meat especially strong meat, wash it. Uh, Buy some brown sugar and take it back. Brown sugar. Some. No, I meant the cane sugar from here. Yeah. It's the cane sugar. It is different. Yeah. Brown sugar. We don't use sugar for anything except yeah, for bacon. And you have to use wash the cane sugar. Meat to wash what for wash meat? Yeah. Like a four pound or something. It's real thick, of course. Ah. 
And Tommy and Pico pick some of these this morning. This is the um the watanod, the um the locust flower. Lotus Lotus. Show 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 the me. Hey, wait, just one second, let me focus on it. There you go. This is what it looks like. We looked everywhere and couldn't find it and they were so they all the inside they had no meat like this. So when they found some today they were super excited. So good. So you see how Pico is bunjaling it all the way to, uh, when it starts to... You have some water to cook the tenderness, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness, Pico. I'm telling you, Pico is an excellent cook. I'm telling you, many of you have seen Pico cook before, and I, I told Monica and Steve, I said, you have to try Pico's food. So that's how come we get Pico cooking today. For curry bass. Yeah. He is. So good. Good job, buddy. Now, now you cook for your wife. He, he can cook. He will do that if she allows him. So Pico is just add some water to it and you're gonna just cover it and let it cook on a and sim on a low heat until tenderized. So I added about four more cups of water at the end. That looks looks good. So this Looks amazing. Just across the street, boys. Okay. They're gonna go okay, wait, let me see. Later. Yeah. Said, Look, I'm, a, I'm tasting some. Mmm. So good, right? We just need to cook a little bit more because to get tenderized. No but island side, right? The flavor, no oil, right, Pico? Uh, look, you see, very little, little bit of oil wow. protein. Let me show. Tell them again, the pickle. No oil in the canary, no coconut oil or fryer. But if you could watch careful and see, you see barely a little thing floating. Mm -hmm. That is from the meat. Right. Wow. It's good, right? Wow. Hey, yeah. take on a piece for Steve. With not that with skin, maybe with um, meat, yeah. And it just got cook a little more steep to send the rice. But I wanted to try it. Give him a piece, Tommy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to cook down and absorb more. 
Yeah. 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 He just got it, man. He got it all. Mm -hmm. It's good, right? The flavor in it is amazing. What? Done, done. So everything is cooking up here. Thank show you the all girl, for Show watching. them your hair. Your, your niece did for you. Turn around. Oh, look. They did. She got her hair braided by her niece. Yeah. <laughs> and I put some avocado on my face. So if you see little spots on my face and um and so on, I have a uh, an avocado mask. mask on my face right now because we've been in the sun. So my little sunburn. So the avocado with the oil and so on help soften your face and help with the sunburn. Thank you guys. Thank you. Because just need this will be cooking here until tenderized. It has all the salt and everything it needs. John's over with his cousins hanging out across the street. They've been mm -hmm. doing all kinds of adventures together. Mm -hmm. So he's enjoying their time. Though. A couple of them will leave tomorrow. Looks good, pickle. Thank you, thank you. What a nice treat. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna cover it now and let it cook with this fire here until tenderize. Thank you, thank you guys. Stay amazing and talk to you later. Talk to you later. And thank you so much for um, hitting the like and share button and thank you for leaving a comment. We're here in Guyana having a fantastic time, John and Tommy are also here with us. And John is all up with his cousin over the street. Uh, but he's having a fabulous time, and he's also cooking. He made corn, um, corn mutton. He made roti. Donuts. He made donuts. So he's having a wonderful time. Yeah, he's a late night cook for everybody for snacks. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, guys. Stay fantastic and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you.